Hello and welcome to the first weekly vlog of 2018. I have just arrived back in Durham for my second term of university and I've got a good feeling about this one. Man, it is hot in here. Um, apparently all of our heating is broken so all of the radiators are just blasting at their full capacity, just heat. A lot of my pictures seem to have fallen off of the walls, I assume because the blue tack has melted, and my plants... I mean, let me show you my plants. <laughs> this guy has seen better days. <laughs> God. I am so sorry, friend. Oh, Lord. We need... This is a rescue mission now. Emma has kindly donated her windowsill to me to try and keep my plant alive. I'm so sad. Look at it. It is crusty. This isn't the sound of a healthy, healthy leaf. Don't pull the leaves off. No, you have to get rid of them. I need as many as I can no, get. No, I think, I think you have to get rid of them when then. Look, if we do that, they're just falling off. Yeah, it's not ideal. These, they're so on big. the other hand, very nice indeed. Oh, they're perfection. Guys, this is a poll. They're earrings. Are these earrings or nipple tassels? <laughs> <laughs> They're 100% tassels. You've been ripped off. I could get one on each. <laughs> Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. Look after him for me. I'll love him like one of my own. <laughs> Being back at university for my second term is a weird feeling. Um, I kind of feel like nothing has changed. Like, it's almost like because everyone leaves at the end of term, everyone leaves and goes back to living their normal lives and then we all come back here, it's almost like time stagnates, just stands still and, and pauses. Um, and then you get back here and nothing has really changed. Um, you just get straight back into the swing of things. Um, I feel, I feel like I'm living a double life. Basically, I, I, what I'm trying to say is that I am Hannah Montana. Hopefully, this term is as good as last term. I loved last term so much. Like, I just had such a whale of a time. I'm very lucky not to have exams this week when we come back. Um, a lot of universities I know do have exams, um, which is good because I did very little work over Christmas. Um, <laughs> and by very little, I mean none at all. So now I've kind of got to make up for it and get, <laughs> get my head back in the game. The reason that I wanted to vlog this week is because it's refreshers week. Um, so so this weekend coming up we've got refreshers which is basically like freshers just again <laughs> it's just an excuse to party essentially but speaking of work I have actually got two lectures today um, so I've got a lecture at two and a lecture at four so we're right back into the swing of things um, so yeah let's get going hello so I am back from my lecture. I am expecting my new phone to arrive um, to be delivered uh, any day now. So I just saw that they um, put a list up in our um, common room set with who's got parcels um, and my name was on there. So I was like, oh my God, it's my phone. I haven't ordered anything else. I don't know what else it could possibly be. The office was closed, so I had to go and speak to the porter, who I had to persuade for like 15 minutes to let me have my package. Guess what it was? the phone case. So I now have a phone case and no phone. <sighs> very annoying. Very, very annoying. One very exciting thing that has happened today is that my video has gone live on the Student Rooms YouTube channel. So um, basically they asked me a couple of months ago to make a video about my student finance experience um, and how it all works and stuff. Here I am doing just that. <laughs> so if you'd like to see it, um, head on over to the Student Room YouTube channel. This is very surreal because um, the, the student room is kind of where I would go for tips and now I'm the one there like giving them so yeah that's very cool. Tonight has been absolutely lovely just catching up with everyone and like I said earlier it feels like no time at all has passed um, but I am just back in my room I've just snuck back up here because um, I uploaded a new video tonight it's um, all about things we all say whilst driving um, it'll be on my channel if you want to go and check it out but I'm just reading and replying to all of your lovely comments um, as I always do and yeah I just wanted to say thank you for just always being so nice to me I don't know what I did to deserve such nice viewers and very excitingly there are now 16,000 of you which is Silly, that's just madness. But yeah, a very warm welcome if you're new here. Um, can I get you anything? Some snacks? A condom? Please tell me you get the reference, otherwise that was very creepy indeed. So I've just realised I never ate day 24 on my advent calendar that I had at uni. We've hit the mother load. Well, that couldn't have gone much worse, really, could it? Guys, look. 
it's beginning to look a lot like January? Surely that's enough to not have to go to lectures today. Surely. Hello, good morning and welcome to Wednesday's part of the weekly vlog. We've just been for some breakfast and now um, we're going to go to the Refreshers Fair, which is basically the Freshers Fair, but like in January for all of the things that you didn't sign up for, or things you signed up for and then never went to the actual society. So hopefully, I'm probably gonna sign up for some stuff, but more importantly, I'm gonna get some freebies. Okay, so update, um, fresh as fair, wholly unsuccessful. Um, I basically signed up to all of the societies I wanted to be signed up to anyway, um, and then my friend Patrick kept trying to sign me up for like, origami society and circus society. And unfortunately, I just don't have time for circus society, because um, with all the things I've got going on, I just don't think I could juggle it. Anyway, all terrible jokes aside, one thing that is very exciting is that my new phone has turned up. Um, so I'm going to set this up now. I'm very, very excited. I went for the iPhone 8 Plus in the space grey colour because I need that camera in my life. Um, so hopefully the Instagram game is going to be heavily improved um, and I can use it for the vlogs and stuff like that. So yeah, very, very excited about this. So um, Ella's heating is currently broken. Uh, do you think she's got enough heaters to... Are you warm, Ella? <laughs> I'm toasty. Also, if you've been following the saga in the weekly vlogs about Ella's bonsai tree, single bonsai tree, reveal yourself. <laughs> that is the saddest thing this, this I've isn't ever me. seen. This was Will. It's alive and kicking, apparently. <laughs> it's that's just the saddest thing. It's just. I still have hope. I came to Ella's room just after lunch at um, what <laughs> half past twelve. Uh, it's now four o'clock and we have done no work at all. On the last weekly vlog, someone commented asking, where is Ella from? What is oh her accent? God, where is Ella's accent from? So, Ella, where the hell are you from? I'm not American. She's not American. Uh, I'm British and Bulgarian, but I was born in Hong Kong and I've lived in Istanbul. So, uh, I'm just a bit confused. And do you have a New Zealand passport? Yeah. Which is a cocktail of nationalities. <laughs> and I am 100% British beef. You just say you're a British beef. <laughs> what? I mean, that's, just... that's my Tinder bio. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Cooking a Midnight Snack with Jack, the third with with special guest. Hey. Um, we've got our dressing gowns on. Oh, you can't really see it properly. It's a proper party over here. We're just making some noodles. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah, this is what we call entertainment okay, I'm gonna move in the industry. <laughs> <laughs> you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. I don't know if this needs to be documented on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's happening, so. <laughs> oh, that close up. Oh yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready for my close up. Wait, hang on, it's blurry. Microwave. <laughs> I know that it's not a healthy thing to compare noodles, but I'm just feeling very inadequate. Look. At this oh. <laughs> compared to that. Is that on top? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Push ups, 15 repetitions. Oh. So I <laughs> woke up this morning early to do a workout. I know, new phone, who dis? Basically, what brought on this madness is that I, with my new phone, downloaded an app called 30 Day Workout Challenge or something. Um, and I, I didn't realise, but I paid for it. I thought it was free and I paid for it. <laughs> and uh, it was 8 99 for a subscription for a week. A week! <sighs> I was like... Um, I should probably do it at some point and then I'll cancel it. Um, so I gave it a go this morning and honestly my arms hurt just after the warm-up. So I'm never doing that again. Um, and getting fit for 2018 is going really well. Nice. This was a poor choice of footwear for this treacherous condition. Hello, I am showered, dressed, I've been to a tutorial and uh, do they mind? Right. Okay. I have got a lecture now on the same thing as my tutorial was on this morning. So I'm going to need a jacket. It's very snowy again today. Need to layer up because it's bloody freezing. I really need to put up my new essay deadlines, but I just can't bring myself to do it because that means accepting that I actually have essays to do this term. 
God. So I have just got back from my lecture and I thought I'd give you a quick update on uh, the ivy plant. Um, yeah, I think it's actually looking worse than before. Yeah, this thing is dead as Logan Paul's YouTube channel. One thing that did happen to me the other day what, that was very traumatic um, was that I went to a lecture um, that, that's not the traumatic bit, like I'll come to the traumatic bit. <laughs> so when we went in it felt like a normal lecture, the first 40 minutes the lecturer spoke about sonnets to us and then it got to that point um, and he said right now everyone turn over the handout that you've got, so we all turned over and there's a blank page and he's like right, what I want you to do now is write your own sonnet. What? Audience participation for me I think is possibly the worst thing in the whole world. Aside from like disease and stuff, but audience participation sucks. So the lecturer is running around the lecture theatre, like getting people's suggestions of like and their, their examples of what they've written. He's jumping on the desks and running along them like bloody Spider Man. The one guy in front of me had put, he read out his example of like the first um, quatrain that he'd written. Um, it had the word betwixt in it. Bloody betwixt. Like, hang on, guys, come on, we've got Shakespeare in the third row and he's wearing a puffer jacket. It was just a very stressful experience. And I, I did not enjoy. Even thinking about it now, my heart rate's like sped up a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, for the rest of the afternoon, I've got a date with Homer's Odyssey, which is sure to calm my heart rate right down. Then I'm going to try and write a blog post um, on some interrailing tips and tricks. It's kind of like an interrail survival guide, so hopefully that's on the blog now. And then I think I'm just gonna go to the library this evening. Can you believe? We walked all the way to the library only to find out that it was only open for another hour because it was closing early tonight. <laughs> Absolutely raging. Got a solid 30 minutes of work in. I think I procrastinated for at least 25 <laughs> of those. <laughs> oh God. Oops, we're in a pub. Look at the other options as well. Ooh. I don't want to say them. Genius plan. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, for real, this is how icy it is. I'm literally sliding home. Oh my god. This is absolutely terrifying. Today I'm filming a very, very exciting video, um, which I'm working on with the BBC. Uh, <laughs> you may remember that uh, a year ago, um, if you've been watching this channel for a little while, um, a year ago I hosted a series for BBC Bite Size, and um, now BBC Three have very kindly and excitingly asked me to um, make a video for their Facebook page. This is just an incredible opportunity for me, and I just feel so grateful to, to have this opportunity and thankful to all of you for subscribing and, and giving me this opportunity. That's a spoiler for this video. Um, the last scene is featuring a carrot. So <laughs> I just messaged our um, uni group chat being like, is anyone near a Tesco and can get me a carrot? <laughs> and luckily Emma, shout out to Emma, um, was by Tesco and went and got me my carrot. <laughs> so um, this is for the final scene of the video, um, if it makes the cut. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm gonna film that now. So, some time has passed, I've sent off the video to the BBC after working all day on it. Um, fingers crossed they like it, hopefully hard work pays off. Um, yeah, I'm just nervous now, it's just the big wait. Tonight is the silent disco, so um, in it's basically downstairs from the house that I'm living in, which is great, because I don't have to go anywhere. But the silent disco in Freshers Week was one of my favourite nights of the whole year so far, so I'm really excited about that. I don't have an awful lot to say. Um, Park Run was cancelled in the morning because it was so icy, which was sad. I mean, not that sad, I wasn't, I wasn't devastated about it. But yeah, just been a bit of a chilled one working on this video, which I've really enjoyed doing anyway. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Guys, our delivery, <laughs> our delivery just arrived. Oh yes, this oh, was an excellent decision. Oh, Three. This is so bad. Four. Five. This is not the most effective way to do it. We should make a time lapse of us doing it. <laughs> On it. <laughs> And done. We paid seven pounds for these, so three pound fifty each. Cheers. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh shit, I haven't, I haven't mixed yet. She wants to save me. And that is why a silent disco sounds so much better in your head. That's why the silent disco is meant to be silent. Good morning. Um, I've just got up. Uh, it is half past 11. So that means it's time for brunch. Yes. Um, Will, why is there a brioche well, on my door? I just thought, you know, if you get a bit hungry then. <laughs> Real. Thanks, mate. <laughs> I literally ran home with this like, <laughs> I was like, Jack. <laughs> Thanks, mate. And after that, I really just didn't film anything of any substance at all. Basically, the weekend was our refreshers weekend, which meant there were loads and loads of events going on um, with our college. So on the Sunday night, there was a pub quiz, which we attended, uh, and that's really all I can say for that. We came fourth out of five teams. God loves a trier. Then on Monday, we went to Newcastle for a night out. We went to Digital, which is a club in Newcastle for Digital Mondays, which was so much fun. I'll insert a few clips of that here. Oh god, sorry, I was just watching that. I forgot I was meant to be filming. <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall, I love it. And oh boy, did I feel that night out afterwards. Um, hence the lack of footage for the next two days because they were just complete write-offs. I know exactly the point where it all went wrong as well. Basically, I had heard a little rumour, a little birdie had told me that in Newcastle you can buy a triple vodka lemonade. So I went up to the bar and asked for a triple vodka lemonade, but it was obviously very noisy, so I was going like, triple vodka lemonade, you know. Um, anyway, so then he was like, oh, got you, got you, got you. So the, <laughs> the bar came back with three double vodka lemonades. So that's basically a, a six. And I was like, well, challenge accepted. And yeah, regretted that later. But the reason that I mention that is that Drinkaware have reached out to me. If you don't know, Drinkaware is an independent charity in the UK which helps to combat misuse of alcohol and harm as a result of alcohol. Ultimately, they're here not to stop you from drinking, but to help you make better choices around drinking. And that's definitely what I need to do. So thank you, Drinkaware. You're a blessing from high heaven. They've sent me this really cool cup. Actually, this could not have come at a better time, to be honest. Um, they sent me this cup where you can measure out your units of alcohol that you're drinking. So, in the UK, it says on here, government advice is not to regularly drink more than 14 units per week, and that's for men and women. So, you can see this cup. So, up to here of spirits is two units. This whole cup, if you filled it with beer or cider, would be... Uh, roughly 1.5 units, 3.5 units of wine, so really, you know, that's quite a lot in that glass. But at the same time, seeing this has made me realise how many more units I am drinking a week than what is recommended for my health. And the thing is, I think, at university there is a huge drinking culture, you know, it's synonymous with the idea of going to university and freshers week and that kind of thing, but now that it's kind of, I'm in, I'm in my second term and I, I'm trying to, you know, get, get work done and stuff, a, a big night out means the next day is just a complete write-off and you get no work done, you just feel terrible. So it's not about cutting drink out at all, it's about moderating it and, you know, 14 units, that's still, you know, that's a reasonable amount, over a week. So yeah, you can go to drinkaware.co.uk for more information and I'm going to be doing the challenge for the next month to see if I can try and drink within the recommended guidance uh, allowance of alcohol, so trying to drink only 14 units a week. I'll be honest with you and let you know how it goes. Um, it is gonna be a challenge, <laughs> lad, lad, lad. But it's something I'm really interested to try out, um, and I think it could be life-changing, really. Look who I'm on FaceTime to. It's... Hello. 
little boy. It's everyone's favourite bambines. Um, <laughs> we're just talking about something potentially very exciting, which you might find out about in tomorrow's part of the vlog. I'm very terrified. I don't know what's going on. Things are getting extreme. Things are happening. Yeah, so possibly we might be telling you something very exciting tomorrow. But for now... It's not a baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm not doing anything tomorrow. Okay, cool. Amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh my god so i just got off the phone to bbc3 basically you saw the other day that i was filming a video for their facebook page well they've actually asked me to do another one with becky becky lives in wales i live in the northeast of england at the moment for university so that's an issue also she is going to new york on the 2nd of february however this is a valentine's video uh which gives us practically no time before valentine's day so they were like hey are you free tomorrow and i was like Yes. So what's happening is I'm flying to Bristol and then getting the train to Swansea to meet Becky, staying there for the weekend. We're going to film all weekend and then I'm going to fly back on Sunday. What is my life? I've just had the email confirmation of my flights. Um, literally an hour ago I was sitting in a lecture and had no idea this was about to happen. Oh my god. This is nuts. So tonight I'm going to the St Cuthbert Society fashion show um it's a tradition in durham that each college each year puts on a fashion show for charity and tonight is the st cuthbert society one which is my college so uh better get changed ah much better cuts fashion show 2018 let's go cheers guys <laughs> cheers <laughs> <laughs> Hello, good morning. It's Friday and today is the big day. I am about to leave my house to head to the train station to go to Newcastle Airport, then I'm flying via Bristol um, and then ending up in Swansea. Um, I might stop off in Bath en route to see a friend, um, but yeah, I'm going to head off now. Oh my god, this is just so mad. So I've stopped over in Bath literally for an hour and met this one. Hello. We've come for a little a little cheeky Nando's. It's all good in the hood. I'm very happy, very hungry. That's all I have to say. Short and sweet. Love you. Welcome aboard this 2119 Great Western Railway Service. Hi, hey, hello. I am now in Wales. <laughs> what? So I was basically travelling for about 11 hours. <laughs> Genuine. I've been all over the shop today, but I'm here and we're excited. I can't believe he's on tour. This is Sally. Um, Look, at, she's don't not. Forget, I'll leave her links in the description. She's quite sad, but it's fine. <laughs> oh yeah, introduce my dog before you introduce me. <laughs> this is Becky. If you don't know her channel, Bambino Becky, literally my favourite channel on YouTube. So, what? the link will be in my crotch. <laughs> don't be that person. So we are filming. For the BBC tomorrow, which is just silly, isn't it? They've let us under the BBC. <laughs> Mistake. I don't even know how to say this because it's so ridiculous, but <laughs> my first video for BBC Three has gone on their Facebook page. If you wear glasses, I hope you can relate. If you have a friend who wears glasses, I hope they can relate. If you have a grandmother who wears glasses, I hope she can relate. Um, share my little old video. What a weird old life. Good night. Good night, Jack. Miss you already. <laughs> Today we are being. Wait, wait, just cut that. Stop it now. Stop it. It. Right. She's such a diva to work with. <laughs> Hello, good morning, and welcome to Saturday's part of the vlog. This isn't how I expected my Saturday to be. But Here we are. We're in the pub at 9 a.m. This bit is really good because it's just Becky in the in the pub scene. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna mess up. Basically. I'm just gonna sit behind the camera and I'm be a bit bossy. Scared. Yeah, hmm. I'm scared as well. <laughs> just to just to attend. Just um, to <laughs> 
but we're going to get cracking with filming and hopefully get it all done. The I've got the fudge cake on my lap. <laughs> the studio light in my eye. <laughs> Else. The video that we're filming needs Where's to be Valentine's Day. So, we're just doing a bit of arts and crafts. Right, um, the video we're filming needs to be Valentine's Day. <laughs> I never went to Uwe Chauver. <laughs> wow. We love a first date. Wow. Yeah. What does what look like? No, from this camera. I didn't turn it on. Oh. <laughs> Your viewers are going to think that firstly I can't speak English and secondly that I'm just very, very strange and that's fine. Yeah. It's all true. Here we are at the Tate Modern. Just finished our set design. We've put the Y in DIY. Why? We've had a little outfit change. They say never to work with animals or children. We're currently working with both. <laughs> we love a happy family. <laughs> I love my family. Yeah. Color. This is what you've done to me. <laughs> it's a look. <laughs> Day one filming. Absolutely smashed it. Oh, bloody hell. I hit you. You really didn't see that jumper there. Bangers and mash. Absolutely banging. <laughs> We've been at the pub for <laughs> five hours. Five hours, but we had a good time. <laughs> we had a good time. So now we are going to head to bed because we've got more filming to do, do you tomorrow. I'm excited to have to sleep. Oh. <laughs> Quite enjoying spending time with me. For now, we would like to leave you on one very important message, very which important. is: don't smile, don't because, smile it because it happened. happened. Cry because it's, it's over. over. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Good morning. Today is Sunday. Today is the last day of filming for the BBC, and this is what's currently happening. I've got my shirt and then <laughs> my pajama bottoms. We're on a date. Outfit of the day. So we have just finished filming my scenes. I'm all done. Uh, hey! Jack <laughs> we just got a few more scenes for Becky. She just drank fairy washing up liquid. Because we had, yeah, that's a bit upsetting. We made the kind of concoctions in glasses to look like dregs of beer. <laughs> Becky drank one of the mid shots. That was orange squash, and I, I got way too into it basically. <laughs> she was just really into character, just method acting. Method that's what it was, acting. method acting. Give it a Is thumbs it up because we do our own stunts. <laughs> <laughs> that was not a stunt double, that was me. Yeah. The other tear in my heart. Ah, oh. Jolene, 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 Jolene. I am about to leave the land of Wales and oh head God. back to Bristol Airport and then fly back to Newcastle. So I've got a day of traveling. Oh my God. Um, but thank you very much for having me. No, it's thanks for coming. It's been a pleasure. Coming. We're both very, very grateful. For the opportunity. For the opportunity. It's just madness. It is, it's um, really weird, isn't it? So thank you for watching. Thank you for coming with me to she is so bored of you. <laughs> Come back to Durham with me. Oh, it's been real. It's Happy been real. Families. Oh. Screenshot this and put on Twitter. <sighs> Sorry this weekly vlog accidentally turned into like a two week leave vlog um, and it's very long. I'm so sorry. I do this every single time. I have had two very crazy weeks and I just am on top of the world. I'm on cloud nine at the moment and I'm so pleased that I got to film it and share it with you. Some updates, we've actually now hit 18,000 subscribers on this channel. Um, how are you doing? And my first BBC3 video now has a third of a million views. <laughs> what? Ow! Okay, I really wish I'd planned that. <laughs> Again, I do my own stunts. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope that you're not bored to death of me by this point. And if you got to this point, like, well done you. All of the love, as always. Um, I promise to get more content up on my channel this two weeks, as you've seen, have been crazy. So I have been slacking a little bit, but we're back to business now. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely day. Give this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe, because if you've watched this point, you might as well. And... I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.